If you haven't seen it, take a look at Old Retford in colour. And if you haven't subscribed, now's the time to do it so you don't miss more films of the area. Just click on the subscribe button in the bottom right or at the end of the film. Let's start as we enter Retford from the west on Babworth Road in 1920. It's a beautiful summer's day and a family with baby make the best of it. As do this group of young boys fishing on the River Idle. Into the market square and back to 1900 and a small group of men, boys and one young girl pose for the camera. 1906 and the square is full of horse and carts. The reason for the gathering is not given. A year later and the reason for this gathering is clear. It's General Booth's motor tour. 1910 and a lone horse and carriage waits for his passenger outside the Newcastle Arms. Still in 1910 and Swanock's staff line up outside their Grove Street shop for a publicity shot. It's 1914 on New Street and what looks like James Taylor, the Globe Inn's landlord, with his family and some local lads may be due to embark soon. A year later, as more men are needed, the square is filled with troops on the move. On to 1920 and the Wesleyan Chapel on Grove Street with two buildings pulled down to make way for Arlington Way. Into 1937 and the town is decorated for the coronation of King George VI. This one looking down Carrollgate from the square and down Grove Street from the same point. This is Grove Street from the other direction. And a parade leaving Bridgegate and going into Cannon Square. And finally we jump to the 1950s and Carrollgate on a very, very quiet day. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any future films.